Okay, this is the uh, this is the short version of exporting a L5K file from the Festo maintenance tool software and using it to create a generic module that you'll use in your Rockwell PLC to connect to FB36 or FB32 modules. So this is again the quick version. So you're on the Festo website. The first thing you want is the Festo maintenance tool software. You type in FMT. So basically you navigate to the www.festo.com. You click on support downloads, come to the search window, put this in here, go to the software tab, and you will download this right here. This click on this, you'll install it, and you'll click on the update and install that in that order. Okay, so now we've installed the software. The uh, the first thing you do is you start up the, your your software. And it says, hey, establish a connection. So you hit the next button through the wizard here. I'm going to connect to the device over TCP IP, so an Ethernet connection between my laptop and the uh, FB36. The other important thing here is to make sure you're on the same subnet. So my subnet here is. So 192.168.1, so those are the first three octets. My device always has the same first three octets. Okay, so I'm going to do a search. There's my FB36 I want to connect to. Hit OK. Hit the next button. Finish. Now it's going online. The first thing it does is it sucks up the information and all the configuration data. And at this point, you're going to go and you're going to, going to you're going to configure all your your parameters. So this one here, I don't want millibar. I want uh, psi. Uh, I'll, I want a fast response time. And hit apply. Hit OK. So fault and parameterizing upper limit. Okay. So let me just uh, upper limit. Thirty-two-seven sixty-seven. Okay. Uh, it's probably 100 PSI. Apply. Okay. Okay. So we've we've given it a, a range. We've modified a variety of parameters. And now we want to do an export or take a snapshot. And how we do this in the Festo main tool software is we come into the file, do an export. It's important to uh, understand one other thing here. Before you do a save, make sure you, you save the project. So um, I'm going to save this as this name right here. I'm just going to overwrite this file here. Um, yes. Okay, so the, the FMT project has this name right here. And now we're going to do the export or take a snapshot. So we're, we're essentially taking a snapshot of the manifold. I'm going to store it in the uh, default directory here. It says it's finished. So at this point, I can close the software okay, and go to that directory. So if I go to the directory here, there's the L5K file. I'm going to double click it because I have this associated with the Rockwell software. Um, so it's going to start the software up. And your version will prompt you for the rev number. So this is important here because you want to have the same rev of what your project is. Give it a directory and say import. I'll just select the default processor. Okay, so the project's been created. There's your generic module. It's been configured with your IP address, with your data sizes. It's extremely important to understand one other thing I forgot to mention. Let me just go back there for a second. I'm just going to open this file back up. Down here, this I406 down here, that's telling you what the entire manifold, the I.O. size is. So input is 4 bytes, output is 4 bytes. And uh, the Rockwell software does not allow an import of uh, zero bytes of input. So if 
if your manifold is only valves, for example, then the FB36 has a couple dip switches that'll activate diagnostics. Uh, turn the diagnostics on so that you've got a couple of input bytes. Otherwise, when you do this the right here where I've just you know, done the export and opened it up, you would get an error and you wouldn't actually get this file completed. So that's the, that's the most important step here. So I have this module here. Now I can simply copy, go to my project that I want to use, come in here, do a paste. Now all the data and the snapshot of the whole manifold and all the configuration parameters is in my project. I would do a download. Put it back into run mode and we're up and running. And the one thing that the Rockwell or the FMT custom maintenance tool export does not do is it does not turn on the unicast. So make sure you turn on the unicast. Uh, an FB36 RPI minimum is like one millisecond and I think it's 10 milliseconds for FB32. That'll be in the user manual. Hit apply, hit okay. Yes, and we're all good.